Hi everyone, welcome back to U77. Here we are in Silent Hunter 5 on our weekly patrol log. Right, a little bit of uh, update for you from uh, the last week's uh, patrol log. First of all, uh, we've only got one ship sunk for 3,220 tons. The reason being, my save game wouldn't load for some bizarre reason, so I've had to go back to the previous autosave, which is, is only about 20 minutes behind the actual final save from last week. So we're not lost too much, but we've only got one ship sunk. We didn't we haven't got the credit for the second ship, and there she is over there. Now, we know she's unarmed, and as I've loaded back in, the weather has calmed down quite a lot. The sea is a lot calmer. You know what that means. Oh, yes. It's our favourite time of the day. Man the deck gun. Man the deck gun. Nice. Thank you, DTF. Um, let's just tweak. Can we... Hang on. If I get my mouse back. Can I lock onto the target? Where is he? Oh, there he is. There we go. We're locked onto the target. Um, can I call you from here, or do I need to? No, I need to do it from uh, down here. So if I go deck gun, fire at will, and go for the water, then please. Nice. Get the the uh, crew's to order to do that. Looks like she's running away from us. So let's um, let's turn to face her. Ooh. We've got two shells, and we've got a bit of vibration. Yeah, for some reason the um, we're getting sheer vibration through the. You can see that. Ooh, ooh. Now this is on my binoculars, this shouldn't be locked on, because we've locked on with the Uzo. Uh, I should be able to freely look with my binoculars, but that doesn't appear to be the case, so... A little, slightly little glitch there, but that's okay. It's not a showstopper. Right, how are we doing, boys? Uh, let me give you a bear, uh, a range. 4,300 metres, that's what we're estimating it as. Let's have a look. Do you need me to come in? Of course you do. Of course you do. Right, 4,000 metres you've got it. We're going to say 4-3. And wait for the, the ship to bob up and down. Oh, I see what you mean. You can't quite get it. There we go. How's that? Oh, that was the, the best zoom we had. No idea where that went. They've gone back down to 4,000. So we'll, we'll have a shot 4,000. See how that goes. No idea. Let's go slightly shorter so we can see the uh, the water spray in front of us, and um, we can. Uh... Woo! Did you see that lightning? Good God! Right, let's just close in on them because Letia, get them to hold fire because they're not listening to me. Oops, no, the deck gun. Hold fire. What we'll do? We'll close in on them. Uh, and make it a little easier target. Let's not waste ammunition. So, right, we're going to speed on and uh, catch them up, and I'll bring you straight back. Right, there she is. She's actually coming towards us. So, uh, yeah, that, that makes it a lot easier. What we've got to be careful now, look, she's turning. I think she's coming to ram us. That's their main defense. Ram them. So, what we're going to have to do is dodge and weave. We're going to play a game of chicken now. Unfortunately, the turn is quicker than I can turn the gun. Oh. Right. And fire. And get that radio room out. Oh, that's a bad shot. Right, I think has she given up chasing us? Maybe not. Let's try and get past her, around her, and then uh, she won't have much joy. 
he should never close this, but we know we were safe, so it's okay. I was just going to take a little bit of a liberty for the sake of the video. There we go, nice. Nice big shots, water leaking in now, fires erupting on the deck. It's all going rather well. <laughs> okay, it's a stray one. Uh, okay, he's um, he's bugging out, so we'll turn around behind him. Okay. I see you. Right. Try and get down to the water line. Oh, we're doing a dance around each other. This is quite nice. Like two dueling swordsmen dancing around each other although we've got a gun and he doesn't which is slightly disadvantageous disadvantageous for him but um hey we're the aggressor in this so uh yeah no I, it was always nice to have a bit of dung get dung dun get gun deck action um and rather oh we still managed to get score a hit somehow under the waves and it's always nice, you know, to mix it up a little bit. I'm sure, you know, we're firing from, you know, four kilometres away. Yes, we can hit the ship, but it's not very... <laughs> it's not very um, visually engaging, is it? This is a lot, more, a lot more visually engaging. I wouldn't usually do this, but for the video. Because I know I'll get loads of people saying, You shouldn't do this! This is dangerous! I know, I know, it's for the video. It's just to get a bit more, you know... Intense action. You know, if, if I was to play Silent Hunter 5, Silent Hunter 3 without being on the video, I'd be far more cautious than I am. You know, I'd, be, I'd probably take one ship, then uh, sneak away and you know, save for another day. Whoa! Hello! Okay. <laughs> it's good fun. The mouse got all stuck and jammed, I think. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Hey? Okay. Haven't seen that before. Alright, we're coming in around behind him. So, yeah, he couldn't quite turn sharp enough to charge us. We were nimble enough to uh, dance around him, which was good. Some more shells into him. Get those fires raging. They're not really going at the moment, are they? It's difficult when we're turning because we're always adjusting the um, the aim. Right, let's slow down a bit. Oh, there was a bit of a stutter there. Was he just dying by any chance? No, he's still there. Oh, will I ever get the gun back? Yes. Fire. Nice, right at the waterline, perfect. We get a couple more down there under the funnel. Hopefully that's where the boiler room is. And I think we're straightening up now. He seems to be slowing down as well, so... He's sunk. Indeed, he is slowing down. Brilliant, our first kill of the day, and that was a bit of fun. Dancing around him nicely. So that is an old, it says there, oh, 610 on the, uh, on the log. A uh, small old split sunk position, blah blah blah, tonnage 2,426, 2,429 tons. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't hear anything over this rain. It's um absolutely deafening, but uh, that's okay. Right, just checking the volume levels. Is uh, yeah, this is this is this is my binoculars are bugged. There we go. So there she is. We'll be able to get a nice shot of her sinking. And there's the crew abandoning ship. Quite a few of them, which is all good and groovy. Just confirmation. Um, that should be exactly accurate. That is exactly accurate. So that's we're back up to our two ships now with 5,849 tons sunk. Excellent. Woo! Something goes pop. Lovely. Right. We're going to continue on and try and find our next target. 
where were we? Let's just bring zoom you out so we show you where we are. We're here between Scotland and Iceland. So, um, yeah, we're going to continue to um, search around here. And hopefully we can find some nice uh, targets along the way. Right, we'll leave this ship burning and sinking away. I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, we've just submerged because um, we've got aircraft flying over. We've had a couple of aircraft around in this AM24 square. Uh, you can see that's where the, the original kill is. We've kind of circled around here. We do get a radio message, which I've now deleted. Oh, actually, have we got another one? No. For a target location, but it was literally bang on here. Um, so, uh, considering we just sunk a ship there, um, to go back to the same location would suggest that maybe... Um, Yes, another merchant ship could have come along, but it's more likely going to be a um, another vessel checking out what happened to that ship, i.e. a destroyer. So we've uh, we decided to decline that, and we're heading towards uh, Torshaven, or Torshaven, Torshaven. We're heading towards the Faroe Islands, anyway, and uh, let's just head a little bit further north. Uh, we're not detecting anything down here. Um, we've managed to, in that time, we have been above surface to bring the external reserve in, which is good. So one less thing to worry about. Um, everything is looking good, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. No, no, no scrapes or butt dents or anything. We do have three um, promotion points to spend. So we were the sound guys maxed out. The radio guy is maxed out. The gunner is maxed out. Uh, torpedo guy maxed out on passive. We're talking about passive abilities here. Bosun, we could add some options to the bosun. The cook, we could add some options to the cook. Navigator is maxed out, and Willie, the motor officer, is maxed out. So it's the bosun or the cook. So um, the ability good cook level two for one point, and that one's. No, it doesn't tell us, but I'm guessing that's probably going to be two points, so we could probably get two levels of this. Um, good food makes the crew happy. Ability to upgrade costs one point, and that is um, well, that's a special ability. And the bosun has... Um, we could get um, confident officer level four. Crew members will lose their good morale as the days go by on the sea, but a confident officer can be a real boost for his fellow crew members okay and this one is three points rationalized ration, rationalized oxygen level three in moments of combat and high tension underwater the bosun can calm down the crew and save some precious oxygen that's pretty sweet um oh we can also give out some medals so he we can give a medal out to the bosun torpedo guy needs a medal and let's go let's go sound guy's got He's got his iron cross. Radio guy's got one. Gunner's gunner can have one. Uh, let's make sure my officers. D DTA's got one. XO's got one. Chief's got one, and I've of course got one. Um, Willie's got his iron cross. Navigator's got his iron cross. Okay, so it's the gunner, the cook, the bosun. Or the torpedo guy, because these guys have got theirs, and they yeah. Um, going to give it to the gut torpedo guy actually. Thinking about it, 
torpedo guy can have it. We can still give another one out, so uh, let's give one to the the bosun. Bosun's got to have one. Any more to dish out? No, that's it. Right, okay. So, um, it's either morale. We can probably level, that'll probably be two, so we can probably get um, two morale boosting or the oxygen. I think we're going to go for the oxygen, because that's probably going to be might actually save the day once or twice so that's pretty good cruise morale and efficiency is really high which is grand uh, next lot of skill points obviously going to come in onto the uh, the cook and the bosun and then we get the medals to the gunner then the and the cook as well nice okay that all done there you go administration is being completed nothing spotted as yet anything for these guys to say XO how do you feel? We've already asked him about attacking Uncle Sam, but how's his morale anyway? It might boost his morale. At last, the Americans have been attacking us from it's really quiet now. What do you think of the new boat? Yeah, his morale's gone up by a point, which is always nice. Good, 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 Chief. Oh, remember, uh, we've heard about... Um, Yeah. Uh, what are we gonna do with five boats? Yeah. yeah. What do you think these rumors about radar? His morale's gone up. Yeah, indeed. Right. If you remember, we have actually heard that um, his hometown was bombed. Was it? Was it Wolfie who told us? I heard about Lubick, Wolfie. Oh, God, hang on. Any news on Yosef's wife? Here we go. I'm afraid she didn't make it. Her body was identified by the local hospital. His parents were also believed dead. But there is no confirmation yet. Oh, dear Lord, have mercy. Poor Yosef. He is not going to be able to handle this. How am I going to tell him? Uh, I could tell him, Captain. If you want me to. No, he's my friend. I'll talk to him. Oh, God. We've got to go and tell the chief his wife's dead. And his parents. Oh. What happened there? We spun around. It looks like there must be in a panic. You look worried. What's on your mind? Oh, he's talking about the radar. Okay, that is worrisome. Yep. Looking forward to our trip to the Americans. Although we've already been and we've come back. Okay. Still entertain the crew? Yeah, his morale's gone up. Good, good, good. We've already had this. There we go. Right. So. Yosef. Um, I need to talk to you. Uh, there's no easy way to tell you this, so I'm just going to give it to you straight. Lubeck has been suffered terrible bombing. Much of the city is in rubble. Joseph, I know this is hard. This is quite discerning watching you rock back and forth. Uh, it's been confirmed. I told her not to leave the city. I told her she should go. Joseph, it's not your fault. It's the damn war. There is no way we could have known this would happen. Is it? I want to be alone now, of course. Take as much time as you need. Oh, good God. I feel terrible. Right, anyway, let's um let's get our mind on the duty and that will take uh some of the um focus away. Bizarrely, Yosef's morale has gone up. Oh, it went down, then it went up. He's probably just remembered that he's got that insurance policy. ka -ching! No, that's really crass and it's too soon. Too soon. Right, anyway. Some water dripping down there. We'll uh, we'll press on and uh, I'll see you in a little while.
Hi everyone, welcome back. We've just been uh, attacked by uh, an F aircraft coming out of the clouds without any um, notification. We've had a little bit of damage to the hull. Um, they strafed us a couple of times and dropped the bomb. Um, oh, wrong one. I want to do this. <laughs> it's got the damage is only superficial, thank heavens. Um, so we've got a couple of scratches there. This is the hydrophones. We've got a bit damaged. 91%. So that's not too bad. We should be able to repair those. The um, the tube launch tubes are uh, taking 1% damage. Probably just needs a little bit of a tightening of a, a nut and that should be fine. They're all okay. We've got the uh, observation periscope and the uh, Uzo have been damaged. Let's get the observation fixed first. We can't really fix the Uzo underwater. Um, we've got the um, Regulating tanks to port and starboard, 1% uh, damage. We've got the, uh, what's this, the battery cells. We've got slight damage, 1% damage on the battery cells. The uh, aft quarters, watertight bulkhead, we've got a percent damage on there. We've also got a percent damage on the starboard shaft coupling. And we've got uh, a percent damage on the propeller diameter on the propeller, so I just say, and the stern buoyancy tank. So, that is all repairable, I believe. We're just diving down. Let's just hold here around 45 meters. I'll keep those aircraft off us and uh, allow us to uh, slip away. Yeah, we. does the Faroe Islands have an airbase? No, it doesn't. So, this must be coming from Scotland. Where's the airbase at Scotland, then? Ah, there it is. Yeah, the bow fighter, I think it was. Where's the range of that? Oh, yeah, we're well within their range, yes. They're covering all the way of the island. So we're going to hover around the Fair Islands, and we're going to go up and attack Iceland, I think. I don't want to get too close to um, the UK, because, you know, although everyone says, oh, attack the UK, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's it's, it's kind of like a thankless task. You spend 95% of your time underwater waiting for an aircraft to go over, unless one comes out of there and you don't detect the uh, the radar like we had in that occasion so uh yeah it, it it's 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 not very fun from my point of view um it takes forever to get any kind of footage as well unless we get an attack like that uh, which catches us out slightly um so we're, we're at 45 meters let's uh slow right down let's give um give old uh, benno here a chance to detect something let's wait for this the uh, everything to come down and then you never know, we might get a sonar or a high contact popping up on here and we can go and chase it. But for now, we seem to have survived. So we're going to press on and hopefully find something a little bit more interested, interesting in a few moments. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, nothing too much to report, other than that we're making our way in towards the Pharaoh, trying to get ships coming in or out of this area to get to the harbour. And uh, there's a destroyer escort who's coming in our direction, but we're out of his visual range, we've turned around and we've decided, you know what, nah, it's not worth it, let's get out of here. And in the meantime, we've had some interesting information. So, um, current operations, Swedish ship. Swedish ships, easy for me to say, which have not been notified are almost without exception in enemy service. It is desirable that they be stopped, if it is possible without danger to the boat. If the ship, the ships uh, definitely behave in a suspicious man ma manner, 
are obviously zigzagging, etc. They are to be sunk without warning. Report if the ships have an English or an American escort, officer, or ship's warrant on the on board. So ship's warrant officer on board. So we'll have to check that out. Supplement. It is very desirable to examine Portuguese ships in accordance with prize law. They are to be sunk only if prize law warrants it without any doubt whatsoever. Yeah. So I guess that's if they are transporting military or war effort goods, I suppose you could say. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was just an interesting note that came through, which I thought I'd bring to you. Right, so um, anything we're getting... Well, I've got a ship down there, but all, all we're getting is blooming uh, warships, which I don't really want to have a pop at. A quick status check on the um, the boat. Things are going well. Repairs have gone well. They are pretty much... Are they all done? No, we've still got a few things to do here. We've got the regulation tanks and the uh, water seal, watertight seal there. And we've just got the stern buoyancy tank, which we're working on. So, uh, repairs are going well. Uh, fuel is down to 67%. Um, Battery is 89. No, it's not. It's 98. Stupid brain. Um, so, we'll just get those topped up. Uh, and we're going to continue on. Yeah, so um, we, obviously we did the kill there. The uh, previous ship kill is now popped in for some reason. Don't know why that. Maybe it's just off screen. Um, yeah, so we've uh, zigzagged all the way up here. We sort of come down. Well, we came actually around here. This is where all the um, the aircraft were bothering us, wasn't it? Was it AM? Yeah. Was it? Well, it was. Oh, I don't know. It's somewhere around here, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, uh, things are going great. That is not gaining on us, which is okay. Where's he going now? I think he's going this way, or this way. So yeah, we're going to sneak out of uh, the Faroe Islands and then uh, actually let's have a look at the maps. Where are the maps gone? Here we go. Let's have a look at this here earlier. So we're up here. This is the Faroe Island here, uh, and as you can see. We're in the outer ring of, um, is that like a dated time, is it? Allied air coverage after uh, 1941. We are currently 1942, so, wow, okay, with, yeah, this whole area is covered by um, aircraft. There's no getting away from it. Um, but you can see there is a convoy route just here, just on the edge of AE um, to AF. Which kind of comes up from northern Scotland and sort of goes whoop over to um, Zemmermansk over there. Uh, I can't read it. It's so small, my little eyes. Um, yeah, we've also so we we picked the ship off this little dotted line, which is a single merchant route. There's actually a convoy route just up here, so it's probably just here somewhere. So if we come up here and we start um, zigzagging left and right up here, we may be able to pick up ourselves a convoy. Uh, that's the idea anyway. Good, right. That's the plan. We're going to continue to sail on. It could be a long time now, so um, we'll see how it goes. And uh, I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. I'll see you in a bit. Hi hey everyone, welcome back. Right, we've just gone to battle stations and you may have seen the reason why. We have a contact ahead and we've been plotting to try and get to a intercept point which I calculated. We're going at flank speed to try and get there. Why? It's a submarine. It's an enemy submarine. We haven't... I think the last time I encountered an enemy submarine we were going to have a shot at it. It was back on my very first episode of Sun Hunter 5 about... Two years ago, something like that. Um, we haven't had a popper one since. Now, so I've been plotting this course it's slightly off, as you can see. It's not. It's difficult to um, exactly plot um, a submarine, but um, look, that I did a speed check there. And he's doing ten knots. So um, the idea is we're gonna. You can see that it's slightly off actually. So if we, we're just about above uh, out of his visual range. Thankfully, we can see him. Let's get that to about uh, there. 
and we can thus uh, let's go to per let's go to periscope depth, uh, and thus we can adjust this slightly. Let's get that there. Um, and that's, yes, so we may or may not get there. I'll set up the attack, and hopefully we can get there and um, have a shot at this submarine. Exciting times! Okay, let's um, get into uh, the attack our room with our attack periscope. Uh, let's get a bottle of wine. What do you fancy? A uh, ooh, a, um, a Rouen region red? Yeah, why not? Sounds lovely. Nice bit of French wine. Right. Exciting times, eh? Fortunately, unfortunately, the weather is really crap. Um, which a makes visibility tricky. There she is. There she is. But B. Um, makes it's gonna shoot her. It's very tricky. We're gonna have to use one of the steams, I think. Now is she on the map? She'll pop up there. There she is. She's on course. Lovely. Her visual look at that has been reduced to minimum because of the choppy waves. Um, we might want to let her come a little bit closer. So let's line up tube three. Let's lock on. Oh, can we lock on? Currently we can't lock on because of the uh, the weather, so I'll let a bit of time pass. Okay, a bit of time has passed, as you can see. She's coming up to my um, area, uh, not target area now, but unfortunately the waves are just where I, I've completely been turned around now. Hang on. Straight ahead, so she's over here. Somewhere. Please say she hasn't dived. Oh, this might be extremely challenging. Ah, I think I just spotted her. Is that her over that wave? It may be, it may come the time that it's just a little bit too dicey to actually have a shot. Where is she? She's uh, she's probably a little bit over here. Ah, there she is. I saw her briefly. I got a glimpse under the over the waves. There she is. There she is. Right. What is she? She's a U class submarine. We've lost her. Hang on. Get her back. Get her back. Right. We know. God, if this does this, she's doing ten knots. Angle of bow is currently forty-nine. Ah! Oh God! Would you please stop peeing around? There you go. Fifty-one will do now. Ah! Stop it! Lock on. There we go. Um, torpedo tube three. Lock on. Fast. Oh, look how shallow she is. Right at the surface. Range 600 meters. We're going to be firing at... Oh, why won't you click? Everything's trying to be against us now. It's at 700 meters. Oh, we've lost her again. There she is. This may be a bit of a impossible shot, to be honest. Look at the weather. It's just not... Actually... Why don't we go... Um, we've lost her again. Crikey. Fire. Yep, sailed straight over it. We can't get... She's not deep enough in the water to hit her. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Right, okay. So that what You know, the torpedo was on target. Everything was good. I was 
toying with going with a, a salvo, but I'm glad I didn't now because I'd have been full wasted torpedoes. Um, there's a chance she may have heard that. Uh, is she altering her course? Oh, hang on. We've lost her. It's got to be. She's got to be here. You can see the mass of the disturbed water. That's got to be her. There she is. Um, I'm going to follow her. She's doing ten knots. Okay, that's fine. We'll do. We won't do ten knots because obviously we can't do ten knots underwater. But um, maybe we could have done a magnetic shot. But again, I don't think it would have really made much difference in this situation. It's uh, the magnetic shots are dodgy at the uh, the best of times. So. Yeah, rough water as well. If it calms down, we might be able to get up and have a bit of a gun deck duel with her. That would be quite good fun. Um, but for the moment, I think we're just going to stalk her. Going to stalk her and see what she does. Torpedo missed, sir. Hi guys, welcome back. The observant among you will notice the weather's improved. The seas have calmed. We have surfaced. And there's that enemy sub over there. DTF! <laughs> it's time for some fun, boys. Right, come on. A bit of submarine gun deck dueling. Who doesn't want this, hey? This is what you pay your license fee for. Although, you don't pay your license fee because it's on YouTube and it's free. And I've just realised that... I think it's only the UK where you have to have a, a license to own a TV. I know this will come as a great shock to many people around the world, but in the UK, to watch television, you have to pay a license fee of £150 a year. Um, you're probably going, what? You're kidding me. No, I'm not. It's true. It's absolutely true. It's to fund the BBC. Uh, right, so she is almost 5k away. So let's um, let's get closer. We can't... I can't even see her at this range. Yeah. So let's close in on her. And then the, the gun deck dueling can begin. Okay, here we go then. We've stormed up. Alongside, but slightly behind. Let's put a shot into the conning tower. Let's put a shot over the conning tower. Boys, come on. Don't give them the... So damn, so damn, so damn. We don't want to get ahead of them so they can spin their gun towards us. Guys, seriously, why are we firing up in the air? Right, let's get the old... The waves are still a little bit... Oh, for crikey sake. <laughs> really, boys? Are you... Is this got some sort of impregnable shield? We can't get the gun low enough. That's rubbish. There we go. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> right, I think then they, they may have just woken up from their cup of tea and noticed us. Yes, I think they're speeding up. I can see that they're speeding up. Oh, for God's sake, get the gun down! Why are we firing over them? Oh, wow, that's actually quite a sway on that. Look at that gun sway. Okay. Maybe we'll do it from this angle. Uh, we get a better feel for where the gun is. Fire. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Fortunately, she doesn't seem to be um, responding in any way. Look at that gun. Look at the movement on that gun. That's incredible, actually. You've got a hit on that. Right, okay. Yeah, she's uh, all guns are blatting. Is she swinging that gun? No, she hasn't got any gun on the gun, thank heavens. Okay, too low. 
Well, this... Okay, so the, the waves look calm, but they're anything but, in fact. We are being not rocked around all over the place. Okay, we are managed to get some underwater hits. Thankfully, but... Uh, I wouldn't have thought it would take much to uh, destroy a sub. I know we, we are quite vulnerable to any type of ground fire. Uh, and she's quite a small sub compared to us. A bit shallow. Yeah, I think we need to go back to the other one. At least that way we can judge the gun a little bit better, can't we? Even if we don't get a nice close-up of... Uh, he says... Hopelessly firing all over the place. I'm just going to go with the up and down motion of the uh, the ship then, and judge it on that. Right. Oh, perfect. There you go. Patience. That should be the captain and the crew on the uh, the bridge dead. One would have thought. Right. Now that, there's a sub that won't be able to submerge anymore. Call the Luftwaffe just to let them know. That'll be their deck gun out of action. Yes! And that's the... Uh, control comms room what do you call it the um yeah the uh, the co the con conning debris a bit shallow oh there we go yeah she's still gunning it though but that's okay i think she'll succumb to the damage damn it yeah, she seems not up for the fight, which is disappointing. At least, you know, when we took on that uh, ship earlier, she at least tried to ram us. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, yes, look at that. Bits and pieces flying off. Oh, that was the close-up shot, was it? Crikey. Okay. Why, why is... Boom. There we go. I can't see it. She's not coming back from this. She's not coming back from this. There you go. Breached underwater. She should be done. Thank you and good night. Okay, we're still pounding her. She's still going. Um, I've, I've got. I'm just starting to have a a worry that this is just an unsinkable ship. It's not supposed to be attacked type thing, and so there it doesn't have a a proper damage model and everything. I'm not sure. Let's try some star shells because they set everything on fire. There's nothing like a star shell party, is there? to find out what's going on. Hmm. I do worry. My initial excitement about attacking the U-boat, or a sub, sorry, is uh, now being replaced by a worry that nothing's gonna, much is going to happen now. Let's get some armor piercing. Let's see if we can um, get some holes in the side of this. Yeah, a, a submarine's hull should be, you know, like a wet paper bag. It should breach quite quickly with pretty much anything you throw at it. So, I'm not terribly worried that, you know, none of the other shells would do the job, but... Oh, she's gone. That was the one. There we go. U-class submarine sunk at position for 540 tons. I know that there's no tonnage there, but that is a great kill. And as soon as that, they've slipped beneath the waves. Crikey, that was quick. That's a quite quite horrifying, 
harrowing feeling actually when you think they're doing exactly what we're doing and that could be us one day. But a U-class submarine has been sunk. We didn't get a ship sinking for it. That's interesting. See, so it's not classed as a warship or a merchant ship. That tonnage has it been added? No, it hasn't been added. That's interesting, isn't it? Anyway, we still got the um, the recognition of sinking a, a submarine, an enemy submarine. That's fantastic. Any any more medals? No, no more medals. Okay, that's fine. Right. On that note, oh look at that! Look at the submarine icon. It's a, the, the the rear of the submarine is snapped off. That's pretty sweet. I've never seen that before. Right, we're going to come up, up here and start looking for those convoys, as I said earlier. Uh, but we're going to have to do that next week now. But, um, yeah, it's been quite an eventful week. We have uh, we started off, obviously, having a bit of a, a save game issue. But we managed to overcome that and um, finish off that small old split freighter. Get her sunk where she belongs for the second time in two weeks. But, hey, she still counted for it again. And it didn't cost us anything other than a little bit of time. So that's all okay. We then had um, the journey up to the Faroe Islands where we um, bounced into a destroyer, um, thought, uh, sod this, and turned around and fled. Then we were harassed by the bow fighters from the, uh, the Scottish airfield. And just to top it all off, at the end of the week, we bump into a British submarine, a U class submarine, and sink her. Crikey, what a. Uh, what a it's been a busy day. It has been a busy day. There's no other words. Right, we're going to sail into the sunrise. And uh, the beautiful sunrise that it is. And we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're continuing to enjoy Silent Hunter 5. Make sure to hit that like button. Share with all your friends. If you're not already, th uh, think about subscribing to uh, follow along with the rest of the adventures. And tickle the bell next to it to make sure you get all the latest notifications in your YouTube feed. Right. Leave it there for this week. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.